can also see unfortunately today is your last session farewell yes 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 you have not discussed with me we have had only one session together and actually you had oh. scheduled another session with me but you were absent it's all because that nothing mm. is going well in my life and this was the only reason that i uh, cancel the last session i am a kind of person who never ever wanted to cancel any session of from clappingo especially but i had to when she had this pain my father helped him to uh, get the medication and she get one mm-hmm. injection after two or three hours she get some relief problem i have no solution for this actually and that is why i'm upset because this is the first time i'm feeling in my life that i have no solution hello hello ma'am can you good evening karishma good evening we are, we are meeting after a while <laughs> yes 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 how have you been uh i have been doing good how what about you all well at my end okay and you are an advocate and uh, how is the climate at your place sorry climate it's not yes. really good it's changing every day sometimes it's hot sometimes it's very cold and it's been raining i think a little bit since morning mm. Mm. right right you look very tired today all okay <laughs> yeah all okay <laughs> all right you have a son isn't it sorry you have a son if i remember correctly yes yes oh, you remember right. everything oh my um, god bits and bytes i remember <laughs> not everything yeah <laughs> right and i can also see unfortunately today is your last session farewell session yes 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 <laughs> yes all right okay so today's topic is a very hypothetical topic if you could create a movie first of all would you like to create a movie i don't want to create a movie i don't I'm want to create a movie are you a movie person do you enjoy watching movies yes i do i i love watching movies in my free time especially on and it's my uh, like it's my general routine that on weekends mm. i watch movies yeah Hmm. What sort of movies do you prefer normally? Generally, like these days, I'm watching Netflix web series because I'm uh, really fond of uh, web web series, and hmm. I enjoy watching those web series with my husband on Netflix. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Right, right. I can see a lot of people are spending too much time on Netflix. Is it? It's like an entertainment plus, I think, expansion of your knowledge. There are a lot of good things as well, isn't it? Yes. you are right absolutely mm-hmm. because you know my purpose of watching netflix is only one that i can learn something from like those movies because generally we watch english movies there and even mm-hmm. if you are not watching english people on in english so that we can learn something at the same time so it's very mm-hmm. beneficial actually right right do you think movies are actually a depiction of the real life what depiction movies? movies actually displays or shows what is it's happening in the real life do you feel so i, I yes i feel so <laughs> yes i feel so that's why we feel connected and you know we watch movies not the action movies or something like but sometimes like uh, the movies based on uh, romance romantic movies or family movies i think mm. some i think i can correlate with them like it some somewhere it's connected with the real life Mm, true true have you ever listened to a music and then again became very nostalgic about something related to that time span of your life uh yes there was a song but i still not remember that song it was kind like it was the time when i got married with my husband 6 years back that and there was one song i was so addicted of that like i always correlate that song with my real life always but uh-huh. st- at this point of time i don't remember that song right i used to listen to certain songs songs and i used to feel oh i'm not getting the same emotion which i used to get so it's just like my memory is fading and that that particular situation has no longer have that impact on me have you felt that see truly to be honest i am not really fond of music first of all i hardly like 6 or 7 months gap i heard hardly one or two song i really don't like listening music i don't know why uh sometimes i feel that it's a kind of waste of uh, my time instead of i utilize that time to watch something like fruitful like some news some informative content or something 
you know music is only for the relaxation of mind right mm-hmm. i don't feel relaxed unless i get what i want to achieve right so i i really work upon on those things which i really want to do in my life so i just you know music is not in my life actually and my husband is really fond of music actually he love listening music but i don't i don't know why so people are different some people don't have a connection with music right what about dancing do you enjoy dancing yes i enjoy dancing however i don't know dance but still mm. i can just you know we simply need to move our hands and legs on the rhythm so i mm. enjoy oh so you know to feel the rhythm is it dancing is all about feeling the rhythm and moving your body according to that body mm. right right that so i, I like. can i can see movie is not a topic that you enjoy talking about isn't it mm. yes <laughs> a recent book that you have read are you in the habit I, of reading no 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 i haven't read any book recently it's been a long time that i've read a book atomic habit i think i've discussed with you also about that book atomic habit do you remember you have not discussed with me we have had only one session together and actually you had oh. scheduled another session with me but you were absent <laughs> yes yes Right. I remember. But atomic habits. I think everybody is nowadays are reading the, that book, isn't it? It's quite mm, popular yes. today. Yes. Mm. Very popular. Yes. Have Even you, all the books by James Clear ex- are very popular. Is it? I have not read that book. Would you like to give me some insights? Connect it to your real life and tell me an insight from that book and how you executed or implemented it in your life. okay okay i would like to tell you something about that book you know what when, uh, when i started reading that book i was not really uh, how to say i was not really interested to know about everything but the moment i've started reading that book for one or two days i've realized that it's a kind of amazing book if you follow all those steps which have discussed in that book your right, life can be changed you can change your life actually because it's all about the habits the small habit tiny habits which you can Uh, include in your life, and you can uh, make your life fruitful, and you can change the way of your living, or like you can achieve whatever you want to achieve just by changing few little habits. For example, mm-hmm. like uh, it's all about. Uh, for example, I want to learn English, right? If mm-hmm. I will make a habit of reading a book daily, hundred mm-hmm. percent after two months, I will get something. it is not mm-hmm. at all it is not possible that you are reading book for a two month and you will not get anything it's not at all possible secondly like a learner always think to finish book fast and you know just finish it your target should not be the finishing your target should not be to finish the book but to understand the content right and to mm-hmm. implement in your real life so that you can get some benefit out of those books that's why book uh, book are meant to be not only meant to be read but to apply in your real life some books not every book uh, every book has a different content some are like related to romance you just enjoy some for entertainment some for knowledge but the book which i am reading like atomic habit it is totally about uh, the habit so if you will include few habits in your life that will surely change your life so okay. i adopt a few habits but yes uh, you were asking me that why am i looking so tired today it's all because that nothing mm. is going well in my life and this was the only reason that i uh, cancel the last session i'm a kind of person who never ever wanted to cancel any session of from clapingo especially but i had to just because of some reasons that i i think i maybe i discussed with you or not i don't remember my mother is not well and uh, this is the reason that i was upset since morning the yesterday when i booked the session everything was okay but in the morning my mom had like severe pain so mm-hmm. it's a kind of critical situation so i'm not feeling well and i'm just lying down on bed since morning not doing anything actually so so, so kind is of... she is she at home or is she in the hospital no not in the hospital uh, she is at home now uh, actually mm-hmm. i am in gurgaon and uh, she is in delhi so last time when i talked mm-hmm. to you that time i was in delhi with her only i remember that and uh, so when she had this pain my father helped him to uh, get the medication and uh, she get one mm-hmm. injection after two or three hours she gets some relief mm-hmm. so i'm fine but still i have this stress in my mind somewhere like uh, i cannot explain in words actually so yes, i, I have can... 
Yes, I can understand. It is it's it's something which constantly disturbs us, isn't it? Somebody, a loved one, is in pain and it's unwell. Yes, I can. I am even surprised that you attended the session. Mm, right, right, right. Yes. If you can be with her, maybe you will feel more relaxed. Why don't you Why don't you go and meet your mom and be with her? Isn't it? Uh, day before yesterday, I went there. The same situation happened two days ago also. I went to the mm -hmm. hospital. I uh, wait like uh, the, her treatment is going in the Ames hospital. That is why I did not visit Delhi today because it's not really easy to let uh, my kid at home and you know visit every alternative day because my mother-in-law is also not well. So I need to take care of her her as well. Though she has she is having a like sciatica pain. Do you know anything about that sciatica pain? What, it is in her leg. I, I, I don't know. I've heard only from her and because she's having that pain from like, like so many years. And uh, every time the like, weather change, uh, her legs start paining. The upper oh, leg. I think, I, think, I think it is rheumatic arthritis. Whenever the weather changes, uh, the joints, isn't it? Everywhere it starts, the mild pain starts. It's very common Maybe. these days. Mm. Okay. And so it's very painful. I, yes, it is. <laughs> I know. So I have to stay here also. So this is a problem. I have no solution for this actually. And that is why I'm upset because this is the first time I'm feeling in my life that I have no solution. And I think you, rather than looking for a solution, you just flow with the flow with life one moment at a time, isn't it? Right now, this moment, you don't have any problem. You know, this is a situation. Things will happen like this on its own. Mm, right.